everyone, it's Kim Brown, and I, I'm also known as Kimmy Cakes, and today I'm here to bake some peanut butter balls with you. Um, these are a great recipe, they're really easy, uh, they're fun to make, you get to mix together a bunch of different ingredients, it's a really flexible recipe, meaning if you like something better than something else, it's really easy to um, add in uh, things that you like better than perhaps what I have listed, and I'll show you just how to do that. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is um, gather your ingredients. I've put all my ingredients that I'm gonna need on a tray here, and then you'll also wanna get the items that you need. So for this recipe, you're gonna need a mixing bowl, a plate that you're gonna put the, um, the finished balls on, I like to use a flexible spatula. It's probably my favorite thing in the kitchen. I like to use a cookie scoop to scoop my balls, my little balls out, but if you don't have that, it's okay. You can use, I, um, I'll show you how to do it with two spoons. And uh, it's, it's super simple. So the first thing that you're gonna do, I like to put the peanut butter in first. So this is just regular creamy peanut butter. If you like crunchy peanut butter, you could use that. Just keep in mind it's a little thicker so you might have to use a little more elbow grease stirring. So this is two thirds of a cup of peanut butter. So I'm just gonna scoop it right into the bowl. And then I have old fashioned oats. So I just used Quaker old fashioned oats and it's one cup. So I just add that in. Then I'm gonna add in a half a cup of dried cranberries. Now, this is one of the areas where you can customize the recipe based on what you like to um, eat. So I'm using dried cranberries, but you can use chocolate chips, you could use dark chocolate chips, you could use milk chocolate, white chocolate, um, you could use other dried fruit if you like that too. But it's a half a cup, so sub out an equal amount. So if you were gonna do chocolate chips, do a half a cup of chocolate chips. If you're gonna do uh, dried other dried fruit, do a half a cup. So I've got a half a cup of dried cranberries. And then this is another area that you can sub. I'm gonna use a half a cup of unsweetened flaked coconut. But in this you could use, say, I also have done it with pumpkin seeds. You could use ground flax. You could use maybe sesame seeds. Or if you don't have any of those, you could use oats again. So that would be an extra half a cup of oats if, if you didn't have any of these other items. But that's a half a cup of uh, coconut flakes. This is another place where you can do um, a substitution. So I'm using honey, but you could also use maple syrup or agave syrup. But you want something liquidy and sticky because this is gonna help make the balls stick together. So I'm just gonna put that in. And then I like a little salt. So I have a half a teaspoon of kosher salt. If you're gonna use salt, table salt, like a, just a typical table salt, use less. Because kosher salt, it tastes less salty than regular table salt. So this is a half a teaspoon. If you're gonna be using table salt, I'd just use um, maybe a quarter teaspoon or less. You don't even have to use salt if you don't like it. It's, it's not that important, I just, I like it. So all my ingredients, are in the bowl. Now I'm just gonna mix. You might wanna be careful at first so that all your ingredients go, don't go crazy sloshing out. But this is where you just gotta use a little elbow grease here to get that peanut butter going with all the rest of your ingredients. But these are a great after school snack or something that you can make with your, um, with your brother or your sister. Uh, they're good to have in the refrigerator just for a little something to snack on. They don't require baking or cooking or microwaving, so they're really easy and really quick to put together. All right, that looks about pretty good. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So if you can see, it's all the ingredients are all mixed together. So I'm just gonna then take my little scoop. I'm gonna do two with this and then I'm gonna show you with this spoon. So I just scoop it like this. Pretty simple. And then if you don't have a scooper, you just take a little spoon 
and you kind of get a little bit like that, put it there. And these are tablespoons, just regular kitchen tablespoons. Then what I like to do with that is I like to moisten my hands just so they're a little damp because then when you press the balls together, it doesn't stick to your hands. So you're just, it's like rolling Play-Doh really. So you just press them together. I don't like to squish it too hard because I don't want it to be too too dense when I bite into it later. But that's that's pretty perfect. See, that's with the um, with the ball with the little scoop, and this is with the spoon, and you can't really tell the difference. So I'm gonna keep rolling, and then I'm gonna put them in the fridge, and then I'll show you what they look like. Hi guys. Um, I just wanted to show you what the end result of our healthy peanut butter balls look like. Um, we had made them and rolled them out. The ones that I had um, made before had the cranberries and the coconut in it. I just wanted to show you, I made some other ones as well. These ones have chocolate chips and um, pumpkin seeds in them, so they look a little different. But I just wanted you to see that you can try different things.